that is from the that place. He's wearing my coffee it's region made. hat. Yeah. The He's other good. restaurants is in the next block. Restaurants and souvenirs. Restaurants. This is our next stop. I don't know if you know Botero, but you'll recognize the paintings. Big, chubby people. <laughs> Photos without flash. Okay, I can okay. More three characteristics from the artists. One is a, take a place that was government, governmental. He was on a, just a palace. The second is the art. Uh, um, the art is free for everyone. So that is the reason the entrance is free. And the third one is he is a better responsible to put each picture on the wall. And now we are going to see why. Patero began painting in the voluminous, which is a nicer word than fat, in 1932. Why is this one special? Because he started painting voluminous. In voluminous, like a foot. Yes. I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to decide if that's a dog or a cat. He's got almost cat-like ears. And Veronica said he, the picture of the man, he's wearing two rings. One ring there and one ring there. Some people say that the paint, this is an retouching portrait from himself. That's him, Botero? It's not. It's not, though. And there is a snake up there to indicate he's leading two lives. This is a very famous Mona Lisa. Botero's Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Tiny little hands. But it's even another Eva. You can see the watch. Adam and Eve. Oh, <laughs> wearing a watch. The watch. Eve is wearing a wristwatch. Okay. Yeah, she keeps growing. The further away you get, the larger the painting gets. A Picasso. The paintings in this room belong to Botero and hung in his New York apartment, but he brought it here because he feels art is for the masses. As a matter of fact, he's still alive. He may be in his 80s or 90s even. Normal things to make voluminous. Degas. Matisse. They have sensors on the wall, so if you get too close to the paintings, an alarm goes off. <laughs> 